What's going on guys, it's Sha, and in today's video I want to show you how to upgrade the RAM on your computer. The computer I'm working with today is an Aspire X Aspire computer. I bought it on Amazon for around 300 bucks. It's a very basic computer. The reason I bought this is because I needed an extra computer in my office to do everything other than video editing. While my videos edit, I usually use this computer to write up the description for the video, find links to all the products, and it's more of a multitasking computer, and that's exactly why I wanted to upgrade the RAM on this thing. Now, in this video, you'll see exactly the step-by-step -step process of how to do it. It's very simple, it's very easy. The one thing I could recommend is don't do this on carpet like I was doing. However, I did have a piece of metal next to me to keep me grounded. You do not want to cause static electricity or shock your motherboard. It will ruin the computer. I've actually done this before while I was working a while back, an older one and uh, I learned my lesson from that. So just be careful when you're doing that. That's the only thing you really have to worry about. So here's a little tip for you, and one thing I use when buying this RAM. If you're unsure as to what type of RAM your computer needs or what you should buy, I want you to check out crucial.com. I will leave a link in the description. And this website will basically scan your computer and tell you compatible memory that you should buy for your computer. And this will give you all the specs, everything you need that matches your graphics card, and that'll match your APU or your GPU or your CPU, depending on what kind of computer you have, whether you're upgrading your graphics card, it also has if you want to install a new hard drive. So this is a great resource and it's great for everyone who's not that tech savvy and doesn't know a lot about computers. All right, so as you can see here, you have the two ports. Uh, this is a dual channel memory drive on this computer. And what you're gonna just do is take the first one out, since this one only has one in it now, which is a four gigabyte RAM, and I'm gonna replace it with both of them. Now, when you put these in, make sure that the prongs on both sides are spread out uh, you want to have it unclick, and then when you press down, you want them to be able to snap into place. If you turn your computer on and you hear a beeping sound or a solid beep, that means you installed it wrong. You're going to have to go back uh, and reinstall it. Uh, it's not going to hurt your computer, but you won't be able to turn it on. You just want to make sure that they snap into place and are fully connected. Now, the thing about RAM that a lot of people don't realize is RAM is not going to make your computer run faster as far as single tasks. That's what your processor is for. If you're not using big programs that require a lot of resources like Adobe Premiere or Adobe Photoshop, then you probably only need 8 gigabytes of RAM. You can get away with something as, as much as 6 as well. So don't think that you have to upgrade that much. Um, like I said, your bottleneck will be the processor. So if you're gonna upgrade anything or you're gonna buy a new computer, make sure you invest in the processor first and then the RAM could come later on. Because your processor is what does all the tasks and your RAM is kind of what keeps it in storage before your processor reads it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will leave links to all the products in the description for you. Other than that, you guys have a great day, enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.